In this video, I'll show you how to update your Ricoh Theta, install the dual fisheye raw plugin, and shoot an HDRI in under a minute. Hey guys, this is Alex Pierce from LightsailVR.com. This is the first video to a short series called Fastest HDRI for VFX equals Ricoh Theta Z1. The goal of this series is to show you the absolute fastest way to shoot, process, and set up your HDRI for VFX. If you follow these steps, you can do it all in under an hour. Make sure to subscribe to see the next videos and to see all of our visual effects tutorials. This footage is using an HDRI I captured with the Z1, tracked in Synthize, and used for lighting and reflections in Blender. Notice the reflections in the CG car. Those are coming from the HDRI. And the shadow of the car is also coming only from the HDRI. I'll cover how to do these things in another tutorial. Okay, let's jump in and get started. Let's go to support.theta360.com and then find the Rico Theta Z1. You can see the current firmware version here. Now let's download the basic app. While you're here, if you're planning on using the Rico Theta Stitcher, you can go ahead and download that as well. Okay, now let's go ahead and install Rico Theta. Turn on your Rico Theta Z1 and plug it into your computer. If it mounts correctly, you should see it under this PC, Rico Theta Z1. At the top, go to File, Firmware Update, and then press OK. Make sure your battery is full before proceeding. If your firmware is out of date, it will let you know and you can update it right here. You can see I'm on the current version and the newest version is the same. If you're not sure how to do anything, you can always click on update details and it gives you the instructions here. Now go to pluginstore.theta360.com, go to partner plugins and look for dual fisheye raw. There are two different versions, dual fisheye raw and dual fisheye plugin. You want to make sure you get raw. The difference is, Dual Fisheye Plugin takes about 20 seconds to capture an HDRI, while Dual Fisheye Raw takes only one. I'll leave the full length in the description so you can make sure you get the right one. Go ahead and press Install. Make sure your camera is on and plugged in, and then press OK. And now you can go to Plugin Management, either by clicking here or going to Plugin, Plugin Management and now you can change your plugins. I have already set mine up to be Dual Fisheye Raw and Plugin 1. I recommend you do the same, so that way, whenever you switch to your plugins, it will always be first. Okay, now that we have it all set up, let's take a look at the camera. Hold the power button to turn it on. Hold the mode button to show different modes. You can cycle through different modes by pressing and releasing the mode button. Cycle to the Dual Fisheye RAW plugin and then press the shutter button to confirm. Now that you are in the plugin, these buttons will give you different options. Press the Wi Fi button to cycle through how many images to take. I always use 9. Press the Mode button to cycle through the modes. We're going to select HDR, D, and G. Lastly, press and hold the Wi Fi button to turn on the timer. Now you are ready to shoot your HDRI. All you have to do now is press and release the shutter button. It will count down 10 seconds and start the capture. Once you see it says processing, you are safe to move the camera while it combines the images. Okay, that's going to wrap up this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe and comment to let us know. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.